in the essay, You and What Army, which, by the way, is a kick-ass essay. It's, I mean, holy cow, everything is in that, <laughs> that essay, and I highly recommend it to everyone who reads what it's, it's actually a short story. Yeah, it's a short story because, of course, you are inventing the voice of yes. Richard Pryor's sister. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and she says some amazing things. And one of the amazing things is what, where I want to start today. She says that being a Black American, I make of English what I will. Um, and, yeah. that, and she <laughs> qualifies that slightly by saying, I have made of English a form of American that other Americans don't speak, which is essentially the experimentalist, I want to say modernist urge of making yeah. language anew. Yeah. And then she says the most amazing thing. And she's, of course, a voice artist. She, she does voices. Uh, for porn films, uh, and she so she's I love a her so much. <laughs> she's a professional voice artist, and she said she connects the black voice, and I'm using that phrase. She she doesn't use that phrase. She just says, "As a black American, I make of English what I will," and says that um, I think the best vocal interpreters of Gertrude Stein. Yeah. I got my as soon as I saw Gertrude Stein, I got my yellow sharpie out, and I. I identified it. I, I think you'll. Uh, I think you'll be happy with what I'm writing now because it's all about Stein's influence on Hemingway, which goes unremarked often. This is the piece you're writing for the New Yorker now that you've That's just right. finished, um, yeah. um, because the Ken Burns documentary on Hemingway is coming. Yeah, out. and you mentioned it during this discussion with the students, yeah. I believe. Um, yeah. So everybody, look out for that. But uh, so Richard Pryor's sister says, I think the best vocal interpreters of Gertrude Stein's work are people like me, since we get her form and her brilliant protracted insight that American makes no sense to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> so my, my question for you is, what does it mean for this character or for you for that matter, to get her form as a black American who has made English necessarily an American thing that other Americans don't speak. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that um, she, um, well, there was something that was wonderful when I was reading about Four Saints and Three Acts, which of course is the um, collaboration of Stein and Thompson in a wonderful opera. Um, one of the things that uh, Thompson, uh, said was that the, the cast, which was an all black cast, um, understood the text without really having to ask questions. And it seems to me that if you are, um, the, the diaspora teaches you how to speak the language of the country that you're in and to make something different out of it. And I think that Stein um, I love her so much. Um, she did a monumental job in terms of dismantling um, conventional language so that we could see thought. That's really what she was interested in, how, yeah. what does thought look like on the page? And so I think that that character in the story um, has an intuitive understanding that um, we, Black people are living with borrowed language. And if we're living with borrowed language, um, we have to, we have, we have the freedom and also um, the right to make of it what we will because it's not ours. And our stay in this country or any other country um, is, 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 um, is borrowed time really. Um, and so I think that she's, talking about how um, um, we are really refugees here. 